and welcome back to Bill and the Boys. It's time for a weekly catch up. Um, I've done a lot <laughs> over the past like week. There was no catch up last week because we were delayed on the last one. It was Friday. It seemed a little bit too soon. Um, so there was no catch up last week. There was very little last week, and the reason why is I had to take a step back. It was I was burnt out. I was tired as hell from work, and I'd sat down to do a couple of models and just heart wasn't in it. And if you like that, it's, it's you know building's not gonna not gonna be good. But I am. Thankfully, caught up with everything. Just got to edit the videos. Now, those of you the main videos know what I'm talking about. I filmed everything, now I've got to edit the lot. And it's like, that's not the quickest process. So, videos are going to start coming out at, at quite, a, quite a rate. Once they're kind of edited, they're going up. So, da, 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 da. There's, there's kind of an onslaught of videos coming your way. Um, so, that's good. Uh, that's uh, that's really good. There's a couple I can't upload yet. I don't know. I know, I know some of you don't like what I says, but it's true. Um, I'm NDA'd up on a couple of them. So I've, I've built a couple of things that um, I've, I can't post yet, but they're really nice. But I can't, but I can't show them yet, but they're really nice. Um, so those are coming up as well. Um, it's been an interesting <laughs> week, to say the least. Um, there's There's been all kinds of uh, fun and games. Um, I'll start off with the nice stuff. So uh, row life. People build a lot of row life rooms and also rogue models. Row Life do listen, um, and they've finally uh, made something a lot of people are asking for. Now, this is a little bit of sweet. So, you can now officially get these. So, those are display cases, dust cases, for your little Row Life rooms. Which is, is what a lot of people have been asking for. And it's like, well, that's nice. The problem with it is... <laughs> is that case is 40 quid, which is about seven pounds more than what the little rooms cost. So they're big, right? I'll say this, they are they are big. It's not like they're, they're snug to the room. The little room will fit inside there in their space. You can put a lot inside one of those and they are stackable. Um, but you're pretty much doubling the cost of one of those models now. So if you want a little room and you want a dust case to put it in, it's double the price of what it used to be. But it's an option. So for those of you who have been asking for these and they want them, they now do them. So you can get an official row life um, uh, case for your um, for your little rooms, which is a good thing. I mean, you know, if, if you want it, you can get it, but it's not for everybody. I don't use them. Personally, I don't use them. But if you want them, you can get them. So they do listen to you. And that's nice. Um, I'm going to talk about something not so nice now. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to speak of those we don't speak of. So Fan Home, my shenanigans with Fan Home rumble on. Um Nanogate continues. Uh didn't get didn't get the Nano Gauntlet. Um like a lot of you didn't that they said we were going to get. It just disappeared from the order. Um and then was in the box. Um so I I've, I've had my I've had my eye on them and it's the one thing I I've got to stress, right? So Delivery-wise, I didn't have any problems, but I know that is not the case for a lot of you because a lot of you message me and you tell me about the problems you've got going on with Fan Home. Um, I've, been, <laughs> I've been watching their socials and they put something on there about an automated portal. So you're about to uh, request um, replacement parts, etc., and things like that and breakages through an automated portal and... Everyone's really happy about it. I wasn't, um, and I'll tell you why. Because automation is is crap, basically. Um, it's uh, it, it's it's not being done for your benefit, right? So as much as it'll look like it is, it's not. So they haven't got to pay someone to do it. That's what this boils down to. So if you don't want to pay somebody, get an automated version of it. It's kind of like why you probably shouldn't use self checkouts in the supermarket. If you want to keep people in work. Stop using self-checkouts, right? It really is that simple. Um, and this is that thing. So instead of speaking to a human being and maybe getting an answer to your question, instead what you'll do is you'll fill out an automated response and maybe eventually someone will get back to you. Um, yeah, that's not good, right? It sucks. So I saw this on um, on the social media and I did comment and I said, um, or instead of this, you could have the uh, the courtesy to um, to speak to your customers. Now, this is where it gets interesting because um, <laughs> what I said was interpreted as that I was complaining nobody had spoken to me. Wasn't it at all? 
My point that I was trying to make was, rather than have some automated AI bot generating responses, talk to your customers who are spending, let's face it, at the low end of £1,000 a model with you. Um, but instead, they jumped the defensive and came back with, I can see all your complaints have been answered. No, they haven't been answered. I have had uh, automated crap sent through about, you'll get your gauntlet when you get it, basically. Um, so no, my um, my complaints weren't answered at all. Um, and I thought, no, I'm not, I'm not having that. So I fired back and said this. And then there was some back and forth where um, I said, look, it's not just me and it's not just this. I said, I've, I've been contacted by people that haven't received things since September. I had somebody contact me and so they've had no parts of Ecto-1 since September. This is an American um, viewer. I've had people that haven't received anything from December, but have been charged every month since then, but they haven't received it. Um, for them to say, uh, and their response was, I don't believe that. And I said, are you saying they're lying? No, I'm not saying they're lying. At no point did I say they were lying. I'm like, well, you did, because when you say you don't believe what they're saying, they must be telling you a lie. Therefore, they must be a liar. And this isn't just me. I've noticed other people that have made complaints on their um, their backslapping posts um, that uh, they then start firing back at. I disagree with that. You don't get to disagree with it. A customer is telling you they're not happy with your service. You don't get to disagree with that. If a customer has told you, I'm not happy with your service, then your service is not good. It really is that simple. The customer is always right. That's how this fits in, right? So instead of fan home, if you're watching, which I doubt you are, but if you are, Instead of firing back every single time someone says, it's been months since I received something, or why are there all these delays? Rather than firing back and telling them that they're wrong, that somehow what they've said isn't correct, and the, and being almost like taken aback that someone complained about your service, shut your mouth and say to them, I'm sorry, this is our fault. We need to do better. We're going to do everything we can do to be better in the future. We value your custom. We appreciate that you have multiple companies that you can choose from to buy your models, and you chose us. And in this situation, we've let you down. And for that, we are sorry. We will make things right. That's what you say. You don't mouth back. You don't mouth back. You don't. When you've got people that have spent hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds and dollars and euros with you, you're not in a position to be telling them, I'm sorry, you're wrong. Our service is great. They've told you it isn't. Therefore, it isn't. And that's the way it is. Now, as I said, I've not had that experience with them. When it comes to shipping, I've touched wood, not had a problem. So I can't say that's for me. But as I said, a lot of viewers and channel have contacted me and said they have. And what concerns me about this is a lot of the, the reasons that are coming through at the moment are sounding very Eagle Moss. Right? So it's, it's like, remember when Eagle Moss went this way, and there was always some reason why something couldn't be shipped this month. Always some new, oh, there was an error with the computer system, was there? Yeah. Oh, no, there's there was a problem at the warehouse. Oh, no. And pirates have taken over one of the ships. And oh, no. And unfortunately, yeah, blah, 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 blah. I'm sorry. We're not doing very well. We will do better. That's your answer. That's your answer. We've built off more than we can chew. We've introduced entirely too many models at entirely too fast a pace, and we couldn't keep up. We apologise for that. We'll do better. That is how you handle it, not getting mouthy. Now, <laughs> I've been done over that. I never sponsor your channel. I don't care. I don't care. I make good money. I can buy whatever I want. So it's not a case of me needing them to send me free crap. And even if they were sending me free crap, I'd still be saying exactly the same thing I am saying right now, because I'm not going to tell any of you they're fantastic when they're not. I'm not going to say to you, go spend your hard-earned money with them, knowing that there's a chance that you're going to have a delay or you're going to have crap customer service. I'm just not going to do it. And that's the way it is. Anyway, that's in my rants. Just be aware of what's going on with them. I'm, I'm not hating on them completely. What I'm saying is, is do better. That's it. It's that simple. Do better. You are in no position at all to run your mouth at your customer. You're just not, right? And even when it, it's it's this weird passive-aggressive reactions, I, I, I refute that. I Shut your mouth. Just say I'm sorry. That's it, right? Just shut your mouth. Say I'm sorry. That's your job. Do it. Not, don't dispute with them. My stuff hasn't turned up. I'm sorry, we'll do better. Not, well, I've looked into it and your stuff was shipped. Shut your mouth. Sorry, we'll do better. Let me look at it and let me sort of consult out for you. That's what you say. That's what you say.
Customer award winners. Can you believe it? It's amazing, right? How bad were the other ones? <laughs> but it's what it is. And as I said, I, d- I don't give a goddamn. I don't. I don't need to be sent free models by uh, by fan home. I don't. My integrity is worth more than eleven ninety nine a week. It just is, and that's that's the way it is. Ran over. Um, we got loads coming up, as I said. So Disney Dolls House is nearly finished. Now there is currently no word on the extension so with the next pack that's coming through that'll be coming through not next week and the weekend after that will take us right up to 118 it's only two away from finishing the main build now no word yet has happened on whether or not we're going to be receiving uh the the opportunity to do the extension i can't see why we wouldn't now i appreciate we're up to 117 in the shops i believe and there's been no mention of it but it doesn't, that, that means nothing at this stage. I might just said it. Now, I, I saw a social media post where somebody had asked, and they said, oh, no, 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 we don't know anything about an extension. It's the same thing they say when you contact them about a trial. If you contact them about the Dalek and you ask them, um, is this a full run? They'll go, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They won't tell us a trial. Same things. So don't panic just yet. If they don't offer us the extension, they don't offer us the extension. It's what it is. That's the end of that build. Um, but if they do offer, the, offer us the extension, fantastic. We're soon going to find out. We'll find out Wednesday, next Wednesday, we're going to find out because that's the ones where you start getting extension pieces in it. So if those pieces are omitted from the packs, it's fair to say we ain't getting it. Um, if they're there, well, then we, we still might be alive, you know? Um, so that's that's the way it is with that one. But no word yet, but as soon as there is word, we will we will give word. Uh, this weekend, I will be receiving the next uh, Lancaster Bomber and Titanic parts. Um, this weekend, we finished the hull. So the hull's pretty much complete um, once we receive the next pack of Titanic, which is lovely stuff. There's been some concern about one of the stern parts of the Titanic. Let's wait and see it. Let's, 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 we've seen a picture in a magazine. Let's wait until the actual part turns up before we start panicking. Let's, let's wait and see it. Um... But it looks, it, it'll look good when the hole's finally finished. But you can see it over there. Uh, the, the hole's missing from the end. So it's just that, that one piece of stone done. And then we're, we're, we're kind of good. So it's, uh, it's going to be nice. And then it's just got to be a case of putting it all together. So that one's, that one's really, um, it's, it's, it's getting real now. We are nearing the end. And I'm going to miss her. I'm going to miss her when, um, when we're done building that one. I really am. Yeah. Uh, Tumblr. I've done Tumblr just haven't uploaded the last three, I think. Um, and again, Tumblr, I like the way Tumblr's turned out. Now, I know, again, for some, it's like it's a bit weird that we've gone from um, the front to the back to the roof to the sides to the... Yeah, it's what it is. And it's going to get weirder. So in the next six, which are going to be coming in about two weeks' time, um, we start doing the ailerons and things like that, which is weird. Again, it's it's odd that that's where we're going. But that's that's where we're going. It doesn't matter. It makes no difference. I know you'd like to have at this point a, pe- a thing to look at, but that's the only difference it would be. I mean, ultimately, at the end of this one, you're going to have a tumbler. It doesn't really matter what order the parts come in. It's nice to have it. It's nice to have the chassis build up and watch it all go. Um, but it, it makes no odds. At the end, you will have a tumbler. It's the way it is. Um, so a lot of models are like this, not just the tumbler. I mean, it's weird for a car, but I mean, it's not it's not a standard car, is it? But if you look at the likes of... Uh, Iron Man or the Terminator or Robocop or it's bits. I mean, you're building bits for ages and then literally in the, the last three or four, it all comes together. I don't think that's going to be quite as extreme with this one. Um, but we are, I mean, we are very nearly at the halfway point. And um, I, I, I get you. I get you that you're thinking we should have a, a role in the chassis by now and we don't, but be all right. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't stress. At the end of this, you're going to have a massive tumbler. It's going to look lovely. So... It's a weird way of getting there. We're just, we're just taking a very unusual route to get to the finish, but we're going to get to the finish. So it's okay. It just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. So we'll be all right. Um, it's a bit like what is going on with Lancaster Bomber. So we're a bit all over the place. Uh, but not really. I mean, because that does start to come together. So in the next four, definitely, we, we really start to come together. And we're going to start doing wing supports and things like that. So I'd imagine, you know, we're not we're not far off doing that. But we're going to... The four after the four that are coming, uh, we're going to start working on the engines as well. So there is going to be a lot of repetition in Lancaster because we are going to build two wings. We are going to build four engines. So we are going to do the engines four times. We do the wings twice 
just a mirror image of each. So there's going to be a lot of repetition in it, but it's the way it is. This is this is the way it is. This this isn't something you should get frustrated about modeling. This is something you should embrace because you know I know how to do it now, so I should be able to do it a little bit faster this time, a little bit better. I learned some tricks for the last one, so I can do it better on this one. And that's that's the way it's got to be. So if you're ever going to build anything, like um, I mean, most models have at least some repetition to them. Like if you do a figure, if you do like an Iron Man over here, I mean, just split it down the middle. You're gonna it's it's half a build twice is what it is. Um, so you, you're always going to get repetition, but uh, there are ones where it's particularly bad. Like I can remember the X Wing, people were just annoyed at building four of those wings. But well, it's an X Wing. You should have seen it coming. And this is the thing I learned from that when I built Iron Man over there. I learned that I couldn't be angry at it. The only thing I could be angry at was me because I didn't think it through. Right? What I'm thinking, I've done all this. Well, yeah, that's on me. I mean, it's not for me thinking that it was going to be any different. It's two arms, two legs. Of course, it's going to be repetition, you know? It's, it's, it's the way it is. It's just, it's just the way it is. Um, but yeah, <sighs> Tumblr... I've got it in front of me at the moment. Tumblr is um it's a it's a funny one because it is it is weird how it's being built. It is very unusual. I've never seen a car go together like this. The only ones I've seen similar to this was the original Eagle Moss um Bond Aston Martin was all over the joint, right? So it was like build this and now you're building that, and then it was there was no coherence to it. Um and the other one was the Ferrari that Panini did. Again, it was just kind of like, why are we now doing that? And it's like, it's like you build an engine. Now you're building a seat. You're like, what the, and now we're back to the engine. Now we're doing it. That was weird. It was all over the joint. Um, so it, I mean, yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not common, but it's not uncommon at the same time. I mean, it's, it's just one of these things, but it'll be all right. I mean, ultimately you're going to get the finished product. That's what's going to happen. I know it's nice to have it. Where we would like it, where we would literally build and just do, 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 and up it goes, and that's how we want to do it. But it's it's not very rarely does it work out like that. The best one for that, where it literally built up, was the um the Rootmaster. So if you really want that, if you want one where you're gonna go from the ground and you're just gonna build up Rootmaster, because that's exactly how that one goes. You you literally ba 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 ba. Or the doll's house. The doll's house has been a good example of that. That has it went this way. So we started at the left and just sort of moved across and then did this sort of move and built the whole house. So it, it kind of, there was no real incoherence with it. It was it was literally, it was linear. So it, it all bang, 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 and off we went. It was no build this and put it in a box and leave it alone, build this, put it in a box and leave it alone. We literally coherently built it. It was nice. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to miss the hell out of the doll's house because even if I do the extension, the doll's house is done. The actual house itself is built. Um, and I'm going to miss that when it's gone. I know that those we don't speak of, but I've spoken of a lot in this one, have got something very Doll's House-ish on the way. Um, and I believe that's going to be launching soon. Um, I can't see it being anywhere near as popular as the Dizzy Doll's House. I can't. I mean, it might, but I I can't see it. Um, but I'd like to see something else. I really hope Hachette have seen that there's a market over here for the doll's house and we do get the um the the theater that i showed god it's gonna be over a year ago now i really hope the disney dream theater um the music one i really hope that comes over here i don't know if it will i mean there could be license restrictions on music and things like that i don't know i really hope it does because it is a beautiful thing and i'm watching them building it in japan at the moment and it's it's nice. It's nice. It's very different build and construction to the um, to the doll's house. It's more mechanical than the doll's house is because every single one of the um, uh, the compartments in it does something. So they, in case you know what I'm talking about, it's this one. So every single one of those individual compartments does something. Um, some more than others. I mean, some have got motion. So, for instance, the uh, the Aladdin one, the carpet moves. The Tangled one, the boat moves. Um, some of them there's movement. Some of them it is lighting effects. So, with the the Little Mermaid one, there's kind of a wave effect of the light, so it replicates uh, being under the sea. Um, and the uh, the Cinderella one, 
has almost like a dancing light, so you can see as the the, the dress appears on her. Uh, the frozen one, the doors open and Elsa comes out. But some of them just the light comes on, so like the Toy Story one, just the light appears. Uh, I think Winnie the Pooh is the same, and I think so is Snow White. But there's a lot going on with it. So rather than it being like the doll's house where we are gluing wood together and things like that, we're not. You're basically, there's a lot of screwdriver work to it, um, gears and things like that. But don't let that scare you off. If it comes out over here, we'll go through the whole thing. Because I will build it. If that comes over here, I'm definitely going to build that because I like it. Um, I hope it does. I mean, I, I don't know if it will. I've uh, There's been no indication it's going to. Um, I've not seen anything of a trial of it over here. They definitely trialed the doll's house. Um, so I, I don't know. It doesn't mean they definitely, it doesn't mean they, they would trial it or that. I don't know. I hope they do. I really hope they do because that's a nice one. I know a lot of people are going to be, um, are going to be missing the doll's house when it's gone. And that's the thing. So if you are one of my regular doll's house viewers that maybe doesn't do, uh, some of the other models and this is your first part work. And other people that build part works with what I'm saying. It's okay to be sad. There's this really weird um, feeling of almost like loss. It's weird. It's, it's, it's a really strange kind of low-key version of mourning when you finish a model. Which is normal because it's been a big part of your life for over two years. Some cases three years you've been doing this model. Now all of a sudden, it's done. It's finished. It's over. And it's 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 okay to get a little melancholy about it, you know, because once it's finished, it's finished. And it is it is a strange sensation. It's it's very okay. <laughs> you go look at it and go, well, that, well, that's that. And it's it's a weird one, and it's why people like me um, end up building hundreds of these bloody things because we 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 want more, you know. It's it's what happens. Um, so yeah, it's okay to get a little sad. Because a lot of these are ending now, so there's a lot that are coming to the end. Eddie Stobart's coming to the end. I think that's going to end in a, a couple of months. Doll's House ends in May. Doll's House ends literally. We're we're probably six weeks away from Doll's House being finished for everybody. I think if you're buying it from the shops, you're only three weeks away from it finishing. Um, uh, Titanic finishes this year. There's there's a bunch that just they come to an end this year and it's you know it's it's a weird feeling it is but it's okay to have that weird feeling and people who've built part works for a long time know what i'm talking about there's this strange sense of well this well now what <laughs> you don't know what to do i'm not what okay well that's, what do i do now you buy another one <laughs> or uh you you double your your hand to something else we do like bringing you um your work on the on the channel and a uh, friend of the channel, uh, Corbin, and his dad, Alan, um, have recently got something that, that's made me very envious. Uh, they've got a, uh, a ghost trap from Ghostbusters, and it's really nice. Well, it is now. Originally, when they got the ghost trap, it was still nice, and it looked and worked like this. So it looked nice, it looked decent, but that wasn't enough for Corbin and Alan. Corbin said to me, I'm going to modify it. I'm going to do some bits and pieces to it. I'm going to add some lights, I'm going to add some mirrors. I'm going to make it, make it really work. And to his credit, he did. This is what his ghost trap now does. Stunning. Really good work, boys. That looks absolutely fantastic. And I'm very jealous because, you know, it's like, look at mine, right? I, I've got inferiority complex now. And, and like, mine, I mean, I've got to put batteries in mine. That's that's all I've got going on. And But, hey, look, it ain't how big it is. It's what you do with it. That's what I've been told. <laughs> um, but that's fantastic. That's that's really good work. We always love seeing your work as well. So if you want to send your work through to us, you can send it through to buildingtheboysoutlet.com. And uh, we'd be happy to feature it on the channel. Uh, I have got, and again, I've I've had some amazing work sent to me that I'm trying to get cleared with uh, the the YouTube people because it's of um, weaponry. 
uh, but it was it's handmade models of it, and it looks bloody amazing. Um, and I really want to show it to you. And as soon as they say, "Yeah, you're all right," we'll we'll put it on because it's it's stunning work. It's absolutely amazing work, and I can't wait to show it to you. And that was sent by a viewer of the channel. And I, I'm looking forward to showing you that. It's really nice. Um, what I've been watching so much, so so much, so um. <laughs> uh, we're still watching The Walking Bloody Dead, unfortunately. I've watched a, a freakish amount of documentaries. I've watched some bloody awful movies. Uh, but me and the kid watched, he was going bowling this week. So I said, oh, you need some tips then. So we watched a classic one he'd never seen before. We watched Kingpin. Have you ever seen the comedy Kingpin? Woody Harrelson, Bill Murray. It is an absolute classic. And um, I forgot how funny it is, but we um, we sat laughing our asses off watching Kingpin. And I'm like, oh man, I forgot how good this is. It's one of it's one of my favourite movies. But I haven't watched it in so long. I'm like, this is so good. So if you haven't, that's my recommendation. If you've never seen Kingpin, it's a comedy about bowling, but it ain't about bowling. Um, it's it's well worth your time. It really is. We uh, yeah, we had <laughs> we had a lot of laughs watching it. Um, we've watched a lot of weird horror movies. The kid's really into horror at the moment. So I've been watching some really disappointing horror movies. Um, but nothing worth mentioning because this is the thing with horror. I'm a, I'm a humongous horror fan. I really am. But um, it's got to be good. I'm not one of those people who are like, they like any horror movie. I'm like, no, no, no. It's It's got to be good. It can't be bad. I can't, I can't watch schlock. I can. But it's got to be good bad, if that makes sense. Like, if you're familiar with a company called Trauma, who did the Toxic Avenger, they're known for bad movies. That's what they that's what they do. They make bad movies. They have had some... They've had some all right movies. But they're the ones in the Attack of the Killing Tomatoes. They also did uh, Class of Newcomb High, um, Kabuki Cop. Um, they, yeah, they've done some... <laughs> they've done some interest in Tromeo and Juliet. They, but... So I can I can appreciate it for what it is, right? I'm like, okay, this is this is meant to be campy. It's fine, and they've actually remade Toxic Avenger. Uh, Peter Dinklage is playing the Toxic Avenger. There's a there's an irony there, because Peter Dinklage is the actor that spoke out about uh, the dwarfs and Storm and the Seven Dwarfs being uh, hideous monsters, and that was the only um, role for uh, people of his height. And then he goes and plays the Toxic Avenger. Yeah, um, so there's, there's that. But he is he is indeed the Toxic Avenger. The other thing that we did see this week was we saw the trailer for um, the sequel to Joker, which is a musical. However, uh, the sequel has made a lot of people sort of sit up and take notice because it is not a musical as you'd think a musical would be. This is clearly what's going in, on inside the, um, the fractured minds of Harley Quinn and the Joker. And... I'm going to give it a go. I don't think it's worth hating on. I'll put the link to that trailer down below. So if you haven't seen it, you can take a look. But the, the trailer is a little bit bait and switch because they really don't focus too much on the um, the music in it. But it is a full-on musical. Apparently there's like nine musical numbers in it. Um, so be aware of that. They did this when they promoted Sweeney Todd. If you see the original trailer to Sweeney Todd, there isn't a single song shown in it. No one is shown, shown singing at all. It was all shown as a um, just a straight movie. I don't think you should do that to people. Um, if it's a musical, then advertise it as a musical. Don't don't bait and switch people. Don't go, no, come and watch this. It's just normal film. It's a bloody musical. Because they don't like it. They're not going to like it, are they? Um, but yeah, so it'll be interesting. I mean, look, in a world of action movies where, uh, sorry, superhero movies, where all of them tend to end with some massive CGI threat destroying a city... Well, let's let's have something different. Let's have something unusual. Let's have a musical. You know, let's take a look at it, um, and we'll see. I mean, it, it's either going to be fantastic or terrible. I don't think it'd be any in between with it. I think it's either going to be absolutely amazing or a complete train wreck. But I think either one is worth looking out for. You know, um, that's about all from me. Uh, as I said, there is a lot coming up, so we're going to be doing lots and lots and lots. I have got. Uh, an idea for a live as well. So a lot of you've been asking about um, when we do the next live because we did the one. Thank you to everybody. I don't think we've spoken since then. Thank you to everybody that did the live. We built the little um, guitar. Um, it was so nice interacting with all of you. It really was. Always is. Um, 
And um, I like it. I really enjoy it. Um, but again, the part of what stops me from doing lives is just availability. But I'm gonna I'm gonna try and make myself more available to do them because I really do enjoy the the kind of live and being able to talk to everyone. It's very different to what I do right now. Right now, um, even though it feels like I'm talking to you, I am just a guy sat in a room on my own talking at a camera. So it's it's nice to have people to bounce back off of. So it's uh, yeah, that's that's something that I um. I'm really enjoying. I really, I really like the lives. So I will be doing. I will be doing more of them. And I've had a couple of ideas of things that we can do because I've had kind of a mix of reactions to it. Where I've had people say that they just want to do what we're doing. So the the little sort of roll or roll life builds or little builds that we could do in an evening, so we can bang something out in three or four hours, um, which is fine. I mean, I'm happy to do those. But then I've had other people ask, can we do uh, like a Lego build or a brick build? Um, Yes, I've had an idea for that. I think that could be good because, again, that's something we could bang out in a few hours. Um, and then I've had people that want to do something grander on a larger scale. Um, and we can definitely do that. So I'm thinking that we could do something and break it down over four or six streams. We do like an hour each time, but we do a much bigger build. And what we can do is we can all build to a certain stage together, stop, and then the following week we can do it again. We could do it over a few weeks. Um, I'm happy to do that. I'm happy to do that, and we'll have a look at um, how we're how we're going to do this and what we're going to do. But if you have suggestions of what you would like to be part of the live build, I'm all ears, man, because it's, it's as much your channel as it is mine. So if you've got suggestions of what you'd like to build on a live, let's hear them. Um, and I'm I'm definitely um, I'm definitely uh, definitely down for that. There's a couple of other things I'm looking at to do with lives as well, where it won't just be. Um, uh, it won't just be uh, model building. There are other things as well I'm looking at doing. Uh, I have recorded some videos which will be going up soon. Um, I've, I've like I said, I recorded a lot. I haven't uploaded a lot. Uh, there'll be some videos going up soon um, of some other bits and pieces. Um, but there's a lot coming. There's, I appreciate the content has been fairly lean over the past week, but I needed some time. Uh, it's it's been it's been a, a very very busy tiring uh, couple of months, but. Um, all, all full steam ahead from here. That is all from me. Um, you can contact us at buildwiththeboys.outlook.com. We'd love to hear from you. Um, uh, with anything, if you've got any questions, if you've got any ideas, if you've got, uh, you'd like to show us your work, we'd love to see it. We just want to say hi. Just say hi. Um, or you can pop it in the comments down below. We will get back to you. It might take me forever, but I promise you I'll get back to you. It used to be I could do it immediately, but I get that many now that sometimes it takes a little while. Uh, but I will get back to you, I promise you. Um, in a world where you can be anything at all, just be nice. If you haven't yet, please remember to both like and subscribe. It helps the channel massively. Uh, and I will see you very, very soon for more from Bill with the Boys. Thank you for stopping by. Take care, and I will see you soon.